Hey there, we're back with Marcus's educational videos, and I wanted to share a very important <clears throat> discovery and invention that I came up with. Um, <clears throat> basically, just to tell you the end from the beginning, it's to remove fluoride and other harmful things from water easily, simply, in your kitchen in two minutes or less. Alright, so I've been trying to... <clears throat> remove fluoride from water for a long time. I've been researching it. And, you know, I'm always into the natural methods, you know, how to naturally reduce it. And I really believe that, you know, the more I discovered over time, the more I realized is that water filtration and purification methods are all based on natural methods. You know, you got the... <clears throat> all of these complex technological processes can be gotten in nature for free. You know, like you got activated carbon, which is just charcoal. You got <clears throat> you got a uh, ion exchange mechanisms, which is just clay. <laughs> it does the exact same thing. So you know, I've been developing methods, and mostly I've been focusing on making filters. You know, with different types of natural medias to be able to do this. But you know, over time, you keep thinking about something, keep thinking, keep thinking. Uh, keep revisiting and the dots start to come together especially if you're getting enough REM sleep in which if you're not I would recommend this supplement called GABA G -A -B -A. it will boost your REM sleep and the dots will start to connect and you'll start to come up with um, really uh, simple easy <coughs> elegant beautiful inventions so um, let me just talk about basically what's going on. I'm like, okay, I want to focus on fluoride because that's a big one. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to eventually get a fluoride meter, which I still haven't gotten. They're cheap. They're like 55 bucks online to get a fluoride meter, <clears throat> which I will do that to test out this method. But in theory, according to scientific research, this method will drastically reduce fluoride. And then I'm like, okay, well, that's great. Um, I figured out how to get fluoride out of water. But there's other stuff like chloramines, chlorine. That's also important. So I look up, okay, how to get rid of that. Easy. Okay, very simple to do that. Okay, so I add that in the protocol. And then uh, uh, I'm like, okay, well, how much fluoride should I expect to see in my water? So I look up a water analysis of my city. <clears throat> and I realize that, um, okay, I, I see the fluoride is below 2 ppm, so I'm going to get a fluoride meter that's 0 to 2 ppm. But I also realize there's arsenic, pretty high levels of arsenic in the water. And I'm like, okay, well... I want to get rid of that, too, if possible. So I'm like, okay, I wonder if my method will get rid of that. <clears throat> then I look it up, and yeah, it, it looks like it will also get rid of that, at least one of the ingredients. So that's pretty exciting. I'm getting rid of arsenic, I'm getting rid of fluoride, I'm getting rid of chlorine in under two minutes for, like, pennies. Okay, so here's the method. Um, what you do is you start off... Let's say you're using a cup of water, you know, and you'd have to scale up these amounts. Um, so you have a cup of water. All you need is a pinch of vitamin C, maybe uh, 50 milligrams of vitamin C. Put that in the water, stir it up. That will inactivate any chlorine or chloramines. You know, I got that off of a you know professional website that said that a bathtub full of water, which is I said it was like 55 gallons, which is hard to believe, but that only takes 1,000 milligrams, which is like a daily serving of vitamin C to detox of chlorine and chloramine. So I'm like, okay, we can scale that down, and you know, a pinch of it would be fine for a cup of water or whatnot. So you put in the vitamin C. That gets rid of the chlorine and chlorine. <coughs> chloramine. Now we need to get rid of the fluoride. Now to do that... We're going to use a simple water soluble uh, compound called humic acid. It's like, it's the holy grail of the earth, I would say. I would say that humic acid is the holy grail of the earth. It's the, it's basically the poop of the earth. It's the, the final product of life. You know, so you have life forms and they get decomposed over thousands of years and they turn into humic acid. And it's the most complex molecule. Science cannot replicate it. It's got amazing properties. It's a great chelator. Uh, so it binds the metals and things like that. 
So this will actually bind on to fluoride. And uh, that's a pretty amazing thing. So you got this stuff bound on to fluoride. Humic acid is not absorbable by the gut. Uh, it's just the molecular weight's too high to make it in the gut most of the time. Um, so that would be enough right there. You could do that. You get rid of the, the fluoride is bound up. It's not out of solution, but it's bound up. So it will pass out through your uh, intestines, you know, in poop. The, you would poop the fluoride out in theory. And I'm sure in practice it definitely does work to a good extent. But, you know, knowing people, they're not going to want to ingest it if possible. So I started looking into ways to get rid of the humic acid fluoride complexes. Now, what really is the best thing are metal oxides, so like iron oxide. I have magnesium oxide. I have zinc oxide, just that I use the supplement. So I'm like, okay, I'll try the magnesium oxide. It definitely worked. It started to um, clump up the humic acid, making it fall to the bottom of the glass. So you have um, the vitamin C taking care of the chlorine and chloramine. You have the... Um, you have the uh, humic acid binding up the fluoride. Okay, now you have the magnesium oxide precipitating those complexes out of solution. Now the final thing is arsenic, and it turns out arsenic is uh -uh, sticks to metal oxides as well. So that magnesium oxide should take out the arsenic as well. So what you have is you have this powdered magnesium oxide that's brownish at the bottom of the glass that's the humic acids complexes are stuck to and then you can just throw it through a very simple filter like paper filter or something like that cloth or something like that and it should catch all of those complexes turn the cloth brown and um, you're left with a fluoride chlorine arsenic free water so this saves a lot of money, you know, because you can just use the crap that comes out of the tap and for pennies in these ingredients. I mean, each each takes only a pinch for a cup of water. Um, you're getting all of those impurities out, so definitely save a lot of money. So I'm going to buy a fluoride meter. Um, as far as these other ones, I don't really foresee myself being able to test uh, at home. But um, I'll, I might get my water uh, professionally tested to see if this method works. Um, if you have a Brita filter, Brita will take out chlorine anyway. Um, I believe arsenic too. I can't remember. But um, so all you really need to get rid of is fluoride. So all you need to do is to take a little bit of the soluble humic acid, sprinkle it in the water, dissolve it, throw it through the Brita, and then you also have a very pure product. You'll get the fluoride out that way. So, you know, a couple different options. I go with the super cheapest way because I don't want to be buying Brita filters. Um, so I just wanted to let you know that it is easy to get fluoride out of water. And the key is humic acid. And you can find a lot of it on eBay. Just search for soluble humic acid. And you should see, like, a bunch of them that say, like, 80% humic acid, water soluble, blah, blah, blah. So that's the key to removing fluoride. Um, that's it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Please share this information with others because I want you to be healthy. I want to get that fluoride out totally against the eugenic purpose of fluoride in water. It's a totally horrible thing going on where they feed us industrial waste because they can't. They can't dump it in the oceans. They can't dump it in the river. So let's feed it to the people. Okay, yeah, that is just freaking wrong. So I want to help you to reclaim your water supply and to get this essential nutrient, H2O, out of the crappy tap water that they're tainting. All right, take care. Goodbye.